SNM Productions. Okay, first off, I know I look like jump, but that's not really the point though. The point is, is that, yeah, I look like dump, but it's late and I dump. I um, took some time and um, interviewed one of my friends, John Orozco, who, if you don't know, is a 2012 Olympian for gymnastics. He so pleasantly decided to, and stupidly, agree to do a short interview with me. So, here it is. Hi everyone who's watching this interview. Just so rudely just talking to someone else on Facebook <laughs> or Skype, whatever he's doing. So this obviously isn't that important to him, but it's very important to me. I also promised that I would like not ask. I kept the questions appropriate, unfortunately, because this is really hard for me to come up with like questions that were appropriate. So I'll just first start with like some simple boring ones. My dad used to work for the Department of Sanitation in New York City, so he came home with these flyers one day and they were for these free tryout lessons in gymnastics in the city. So I was doing Taekwondo at the time and he thought that gymnastics would be a good fit for me, so he made me do the trial lesson. And uh, I was actually younger than I was supposed to be for the lesson. The age was supposed to be, I think, like nine years old and to 12 years old, but I was eight. So I went in and they were like, yeah, we don't know if he can do this class right now, maybe when he comes back in a year or so, but he was like, no, it's okay, we'll just let him try out and see what it's about, you know. So I did the lesson, they were like, wow, he's really good, he has a lot of talent, and we'd actually like him to train here for free. And we're like, okay, that's awesome, it's really cool, we'll do it. And I trained there for about a few months, and then I went to another gym in Chappaquan, New York, until I was 17, and that's... Oh wait, hold on. I, it's, break, it's breaking out. out. From the Bronx and went to the Olympic Training Center to train for 2012 and the big games. Oh. <laughs> um, your camera just froze. Why is this happening to me? I would probably be a... I'd probably still be doing Taekwondo or a dancer because I love to dance. Oh. Even if I'm not, like, you know. So you think you can dance status. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, which I just was searching your name because I was being a creep on YouTube. I ran into your video, Boyfriend with Justin, by Justin Bieber. <laughs> that was with that was me and my teammates at the Olympic Training Center because, I don't know, when you're out at the training center, you're in Colorado Springs and there's not much to do to entertain yourself around in the complex. So we make music videos. We had another one, actually. It was, it was uh, Moons Like Jagger, and it was way funnier. I, I had to take it down. <laughs> That's old news. Um, I think <laughs> it didn't look like an accident, really. I mean, he like put his hand there and just, you know. Did, did you actually it, see that gave on TV? A show. Did you actually see that on TV? Because I didn't. Uh, no, I didn't see it on TV. I saw it on uh, online. Of course, <laughs> I saw it online. We're playing it over again. I have nothing against Britney Spears. I think she's great. I like a lot of her music, actually, so I think she's a pretty legit judge. And she's and not only a singer, but she's like a dancer and kind of an actress, too, I think. And she, I don't know. She does a lot of things in the music industry and the entertainment industry. So, you know, I think she's a really good fit for that. So, like, what do you really think about her? Exactly what I just said. I mean, I don't know that much about her, but I know that I have nothing that I don't like about her, so. Oh, okay. So, like, if, what's your, but what's your honest opinion of her? <laughs> I like her. <laughs> mm, I don't, I, I, I always thought that I wanted to have the power to read minds, but then I thought, probably not. Mm, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because, I mean, I, I'm going to hear so many things that I don't want to hear. Uh, cool, versus though. things that I do want to hear. So oh, that's out of the question. Yeah, everybody would love to fly, and it's a generic answer to superpower question. But just to uh, be invisible, because I don't know. Sometimes, like every time after like a national championships or something, like if I go to the arena to watch the girls competition, people are gonna you know start going crazy. But I mean, I love my fans, and, and I mean, I love them to death. They're great people. But sometimes it it can just you know be overwhelming. So if I could just you know. Turn on the invisibility and just, you know, get to my seat at least. <laughs> I feel like I'm invisible already, so that's not a power I would choose. <laughs> I 
But, I mean, I don't hold grudges against anyone. I mean, if they're going to say congratulations, I'm going to say thank you, and that's it. I'm not going to go much further into it if, you know, we weren't really friends before, and now they're trying to, you know, be friends now. I, I'm not going to hold anything against them. I'm just going to be the bigger person and be like, oh, thanks, you know, whatever. It's cool. So, again, like, what is your real answer, though? That is my real answer, seriously. I don't think it's a good, good thing for me to hold grudges against people like that because I mean they're already sad inside you know if they're if they just like to be negative all the time and you know not talk to you or anything and then they all of a sudden want to be part of your life when you become successful I think that's just why do you waste your time even trying to deal with that this is really important like it was like on the top of the list I really had to ask you this I think it's I I mean, it's sad, of course. I mean, two icons, not only in the music industry, but just in the world. Uh, losing them is always tough, you know, especially for big fans. I can't say that I was... I, I'm a, I was a big Michael Jackson fan. Uh, but Whitney, I respect what she's done, and I love her music. Uh, oh, but I can't say that you know, I was a diehard fan or anything. I didn't know that much about her, but I knew that she was... A, a great woman. So, um, so you hated her? <laughs> no. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I never knew that about lies her. coming out of your mouth? I can't, can't say that. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I you knew you were coughing, so I didn't hear the line. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this? I was just thinking about that the other day too. People don't have manners. I can't. I can't deal with it. <laughs> just you know, just be civil to one another. You know, just hold the door open. You know. The wait, it was the 2012 VMAs, right? Yeah. Okay, I was like, maybe I just made that up. It was really awesome. I got to sit in the celebrity section, so I, I was sitting behind Fun and Two Chains. And wait, sorry, you sat. You sat next to. Some change. Two chains. Oh, okay. Or <laughs> just randomly sitting next to like a corner and, or something. And uh, I, I went, I went with uh, Dasashi from the Gym Class Heroes because we were nominated. Well, they were nominated for uh, an award of uh, what's the award? Uh, best video with a message. Okay. Of uh, fighter, the the video that I was in, and so I got to go and experience that, and it was really cool. Memory that I will never forget was uh, I was sitting next to my. Uh, friend Adrian, and uh, I was looking down and uh, uh, by the stage because they had seats right there by the stage for the celebrities to walk up and get the reward and then go sit back down. And I saw Nicki Minaj right there. I saw Drake. I saw that whole uh, crew, and I saw Chris Brown and uh, all of them. And I like was freaking out when I saw Chris Brown because he's like uh, one of my idols when it comes to him being an artist and a singer and all that. So I, I was just like, <gasps> like just watching him walk by, and then and then I saw Rihanna and. <laughs> no. Rihanna, Wait. Rihanna, looked, Rihanna looked right at me and I was like she she looked into my eyes and I was just like That's and so she's cool. like as she starts walking up she pulls up her dress she's walking up the stairs and I'm like where is she going and like is she coming is she coming to me what's she gonna say and uh I'm just like super nervous and uh she comes up into my row and I'm like, I stand up, I'm like this, and she, I, don't even, I can't even like speak, speak about it. She goes to shake my hand, and she's like, uh, you know, uh, it's really great to meet you. You're a great, uh, you're a great guy, very inspirational. I, like, I have a good presence or something. And I was like, oh, I was like, thank you. <laughs> Back down, and uh, my friend Adrian sitting next to me. She goes, what did she just tell you? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody that a lot of people know. Uh, no, that could be, if that's your favorite, if that's the person you want to meet, then that's your answer. I was just kidding with you. Well, I, I also would, first I would choose, uh, no offense, Curly. Um, first I would choose uh, Chris Brown, of course. I mean, he, yeah, he is a great personality. Um, so, what do you, <laughs> how do you love Like the last thing you would just do before you just peaced out. Like if anything was possible. Well, it has to be possible. Uh, I think I would 
Just jump out of an airplane without a parachute. I would probably just like murder someone. Okay, so um, what? <laughs> Like, Average. mine would be, like, waking up and eating food. <laughs> uh, my definition of happiness would be... I don't know. Nothing makes you happy. <laughs> sound like, sound like, okay, Malachi. Uh, uh, just accomplishing things. Like, I just want to show my goals that I have in my life. So, uh, once I do that, that would mean I would be... An actor, uh, I would be financially stable. <laughs> I would be an Olympic gold medalist and singer, dancer, slash, you know, all of that stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, those are easy things. <laughs> anything that you would want to leave for everyone? Is there anything you would like to say to the millions of people that are watching this video? By millions, I mean tens and tens of people. <laughs> Like, a, um, leave them with, like, a quote, like, another day will always be another fail. <laughs> I don't believe in that. Struggle can be the greatest lesson and the greatest source of inspiration. And uh, in gymnastics, there's a lot of struggle versus success. <laughs> so, if you can learn from it and let it inspire you, uh, then you will go very far in life. That's what I believe, so... Well, thank you, John Orozco, for leaving everyone with that. I don't believe that. <laughs> Wait, what? I feel like you don't believe a word of that. No, I didn't say that. I asked you what your <laughs> quotes were, and that's and, and this isn't about me. It's about you. <laughs> but um, yeah, Well, thank, thank you. That was complete BS. It, no, it's not what I meant. And thank you, and I hope that you accomplish all your goals, and I hope I get up in the morning. <laughs> different but um i don't really have fans so you have some fans um i have about two